the tip of Neyafu, which is the capital here um, in Vavau. And just behind me, you can see one of, um, one of the most kind of impressive buildings here, just as you come out of town. It's um, St. Joseph Cathedral. Um, and that was built during colonial times. It's an incredibly impressive and beautiful, big building right at the edge of town. And as we walk into town, you can see um, other aspects Kind of colonial aspects as well. Um, I feel like the the building facades and the way that the the town is kind of set out, um, it feels very uh, yeah very colonial, especially kind of in comparison to Nukualofa as well, which is surprising. Uh, the the town reminds me of a kind of um, a kind of seaside town. It's it sits at the hill that looks over to the sea. Uh, you can see behind me just as we walk down the hill now. So this is what I've got behind me and it actually drops off. Um, I'll just cross over. And uh, I'm just getting into, into the main town area now, which is basically made up of one main road with um, a couple of bars and cafes and restaurants and mainly shops for essential things. Um, some things that I weirdly have never found in Tonga Tabu, but I've found here. Um, stationery, shops, stuff like that. Seaside town kind of feel. Um, I definitely feel like it's, um, it's more touristy here. So a lot of the people who come here, they, they come here on, on yachts, um, on boats and, and more up here. Obviously not right now, it's, um, the borders are not open, but um, there's, lots of, um, there's lots of kind of, I don't know, more backpacker style cafes. This, the tourism in infrastructure seems to be a little bit better here, which I suppose makes sense because usually when people come to Tonga, they generally skip out Tonga Tapu or stay there as a stopover and, um, and just come up here to Vavau because this is after all, um, one of the best places to see the whales too. Today, I make most of the sunshine and rent a car for the day to go on a road trip and explore Vavau's many islands and sites. Arrived here at the Botanical Gardens in Vavau and the climate is quite different here from Tongatapu. So it's a very tropical climate up here. So everything is very green and very lush, uh, which you can see behind me now. So unfortunately, since uh, the pandemic began in January, these Botanical Gardens have been closed simply because there's no one around. But it's been turned into a nice kind of picnicking spot for the locals. So. Um, I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's lots of people swimming and um, having picnics. And this place stretches like way far back down the road um, and back further behind me. So um, he said, I'm, I'm free. The owner said, I'm free to have a, a walk around. They only charge a very small entry fee now. So I'm gonna have a bit of a walk around um, and enjoy the surroundings and then definitely go for a dip in that to cool down before I head on to the next place because it's very hot. <laughs> believe it or not. Vavau is made up of a main island and lots of various small islands. Connecting these are sometimes bridges, 
but mainly these small roads built from coral and cement. Vau is an island cluster made up of like one big island and then lots of little islands. And a lot of these little islands that surround Vavau are, are very close to the main island. So close that they can be attached by just a simple uh, bridge like the one that I'm standing on. It's basically a man-made concrete um, road that goes through connecting the two islands. And, um, and there's really very little space. So um, you can see the space for just about one car that started to make noises. So I should probably move. Um, and uh, and if you meet another car like I just did, then you have to kind of pull over into uh, one of the little precariously placed um, side bits that you can pull over onto so you can squeeze through. And that's why I've just stopped here. But um, you can see the, the main island, which is just behind me where I came from. Um, and then I'm just gonna go for a little drive and head on to this one. Um, hopefully I won't fall off into the road. Oh my gosh, that'd be awful. Let's have fun! can't get over whilst driving around this island is the amount of hills so Tongatapu is super super flat like it's really flat um, you look and you can see like right in front of you but here there are beautiful hills which means that if you go up them there are some pretty beautiful views like this one behind me so I just had to stop and, uh, and show you guys this I'm currently on the way to climb this mountain, which is the famous mountain here, 180 odd steps up. Uh, but yeah, very nice views behind me, not bad. Just 182 steps up and you get to the highest point in Vavau. Just about to start my trek up to the top of Mount Talao, which is the highest point in Vavau. So apparently it gives some pretty amazing views of the surrounded islands. up to the top here only 130 meters above sea level but still the highest I've been in the past year um, and definitely rewarded with some incredible views behind me you can see all of the different islands of Vavau as well as the main island that I'm standing on right now it's just completely beautiful beautiful view water is just is so still um, it's so blue it's really something you see on a postcard out of a book or something I can't really get over how beautiful it is and it's it's very hot it's also incredibly humid um, but and you can see from the the lack of waves and the stillness of the sea there's very very little wind here in fact it's not windy at all it's it's just all very very calm um, but incredibly beautiful incredibly peaceful I'm the only one up here not bad you can walk the entire circumference of Talao Mountain to give you a 360 degree view of Babao, but you should be prepared. Wear good shoes as the path is slippy and sometimes non-existent, but the views are worth it. The hike around in total will take about 45 minutes to an hour. As the sun sets, it's time to end my road trip for the day and head back to cool down and have some fun in the water.
That's it for day two in Vavau. Join me next time, the final in this Vavau series, as I kayak to some outer islands and take a flight back to Nukualofa.